restoring loss, contrast, and color is our topic on Luminar Coffee Break. Let's see what we can accomplish in 10 minutes or less, starting now. Hello, everyone. Welcome. I'm so glad to have you here. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the histogram to kind of read the values of this image. And then from there, we'll be able to make decisions on how we want to edit it. All right. So to capture the histogram is going to be real simple. What we're going to do is we'll right click, uh, right click on the image. And here's hide histogram. And here's show histogram. All right. So that's where we can find the histogram. Or if you come over here to the Luminar help menu, the Luminar menu, and then from here under view, on the very bottom, you'll see show histogram. Now, yes, it's rather small, and it's right up here in the corner. Now, if I click on each of these, it'll show me the red channel, green, and then, of course, the blue, and then all of them combined. All right, so this is all of them combined, and I can already tell you know, this back here kind of blown out. So let's come over here and I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to start with the light tool and I normally don't touch the exposure slider, but in this case, we're going to have to because I have to repair the image. So I'm going to repair this, this image because it's a little bit over or under or overexposed because of the background. So I'm going to bring this down just a little bit. Notice how it brings out the background. Now I'm going to come back up here to Enhance AI. And now I'm going to bring this back in. Look at this. Look especially, look, look at especially her right in here, how that's making a difference on her. And that's because the Accent AI is going to improve color, detail, tone, and depth. And it's not going to blow out or it's not going to clip any of the whites. So we brought the exposure down a little bit brought it back using Accent AI, all right? So we have that set. Now let's come back to the light tool. And I wanna further enhance it. I'm gonna dial down the whites a little bit. And now typically with the blacks, the black tones, this is enriching the tones, and this is bringing out the tones. So but look, look at her skin. I wanna bring it out just a little bit more because now it's really making the skin look better. So watch, here's before and here's after. I brought back some of the detail in the hair and in that background. You can look at the curves here too. Um, from here, I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit. There we go. Now you can also come back up here and with smart contrast, let it do its thing. So smart con con contrast, is going to look and it's going to intelligently look at all the pixels around the image itself and it's going to adjust it for us. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Her face, I love how it's, I love how I was bringing out the detail a little bit more, but the, the color. So let's come down here to the color tool. And instead, what I need to do is desaturate globally. There we go, the entire image. And now bring out the vibrancy in the muted of the muted colors. Now notice the histogram is changing. So let's do before and after. Here's before, here's after. I'm gonna bump up the shadows in a moment. But notice here, we got it away from the clipping area and we're slowly bringing back the image. So I have that set here. And now I wanna bring back the shadows. So I have two ways of doing this. I can either come over and from the light tool, adjust my shadows this way, bringing them out like this. I'll go to an extreme so you can see it. Or that there, we can come down and visit the, the professional tools, super contrast. Now with super contrast, it's gonna allow me to adjust the highlights, the midtones, and the shadows all independently from each other. So let's come down to the shadows. And now I'm gonna increase the shadows a bit. Look at that. There we go. All right, and I'm gonna leave the other two for now. And because this is a portrait, let's take advantage of face light. 
I'll go to an extreme so you can see it. Here's the extreme. And let's bring it back a little bit. And there we go. Great. All right, so again, let's look at before and after. So here's the original. And this is what we're slowly progress progressing to. All right, I like where it's at. Um, her eyes, I wanna bump up, her, I wanna enhance her eyes just a little bit more. So let's come over here to the eyes. And I enhance her. Good. Ooh, look at that. Looking much nicer. All right. And last, let's come down to color harmony. All right. So now with color harmony, here's brilliance. So I'm going to adjust the, I'm going to go to an extreme so you can see it. This is way overboard. This is way under. So let's slowly dial it in right about here. And now let's decide about the warmth. Ooh, now look at this. Notice the red here. This is showing me that I'm clipping. So let's bring it back until we no longer are clipping. Right about there. Bring the brilliance just a touch. And there we have it. All right. Okay, now look at our histogram. So what we started with was all the colors shifting to the right. And now we're slowly trying to compress those colors and we're gonna to try to bring them into the center. Now for this image, we're not gonna get the beautiful histogram that you're looking for. You know, we get the blacks on one side, the whites on another, and it's a gradual tone or gradual curve, <coughs> excuse me, because there's just so much contrast between the whites and the blacks in this image that we're, we're just not gonna get that beautiful tone. But what we can do is make sure that we don't blow it out and we look at it, we bring back some of that color and some of that detail in the image. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you don't like what we're doing, and before you give us that thumbs down, please just give us a little shout out to tell us what we could do to help improve these uh, coffee breaks and make them even better for you. All right, well guys, thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you at the next coffee break.